Hey guys, this episode is going to be short and to the point. In this episode, all we are going to do is implement the logout functionality. As you already know by now, to log out a user simply means to remove their values from the session. So let's go to our code base. And if we open to our users.php file in our controllers folder, we're going to see where we are logging our user in inside the login user function and we do that by putting some values in the session so these are the values we will be removing from the session when we are logging our user out now let's create a file in the root folder of our application called logouts.php inside this file we are going to perform our logouts and because we are going to be using a session in this file let's just start the session of course we had already started the session inside db.php but i feel that starting uh, importing this file inside this logout folder when we are no longer we are not going to use anything inside it except the session start is too much of uh, an overkill so i prefer we just start a fresh session inside this file and to unset a variable in PHP, all we need to do is we invoke the onset method and pass that variable in. So here we are unsetting all session variables, removing them from the session, as you might see. Okay, but because I'm lazy, I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. And then I'll use the superpowers that VS Code provides me. And uh, yeah, I'll do all of this at once. So these are the variables we are unsetting. To unset a variable, you simply pass it inside the unset method, and that will destroy the variable. So when we are done unsetting the variables, we'll call another method called session destroy, and this will destroy our session. And of course, after that, we redirect to the home page. So when this code executes, the values will be removed from the session. The session will be destroyed and the user will have been locked out. And then after that, we redirect them to the home page. And I'm just going to copy this link here. Yeah, because this is the line that redirects the user to the home page. Of course, we don't have access to the base URL variable because we are not importing the path the PHP file in here. So let's just include that file. The name of the file is path.php and I usually prefer the syntax to put it in brackets. Okay, so I think with this uh, logout feature will have been implemented. So if this file executes, our user logs out. And when do we want this file to execute? We want it, it to execute when the user clicks on this logout link. So we are going to go to our header code, which is inside includes the inside the includes folder. We open to header.php. Now this is the logout link. It has an anchor link that points that currently points to nowhere. So what we want to do is we direct this link, the action of this link to the logout, the PHP file, so that when it goes there, it will execute that code and then log out our user. So we copy this and paste it here so that we can modify it to point to the logout the PHP file. Okay, so let's test this out on our browser. Let's first of all refresh so that the changes uh, take effect. And then we'll hover on the username and log out. And as you can see, it takes us back to our home page. And uh, because the session is no longer set, everything inside this if block, that is the user information, no longer displays. And in its place, we have the sign up and the login links. And that's why you see this here. So let's try to log in once more to make sure this is working. 
will log in okay and then we log out so thank you guys for watching in the next episode we are going to start working on let me see uh, maybe we are going to start working on creating topics and maybe displaying them on this page so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode